If it doesn't feel dangerous in the kitchen, I don't really want any parts of it. Yeah, this might be one of the most ridiculous things I've made. You've already never seen this in your life. I'm Laren, back in the building with another episode of Fridge Diving. I'm gonna make one of my favorite things in the world. It's called Indian nachos. So one night I woke up, I had some Indian leftovers. I didn't have enough naan bread. I looked above me and lo and behold, I had some tortilla chips sitting on top of the fridge. Mexican food is the best thing in the world. Indian food is the best thing in the world. We put those together and made the new best thing in the world. Take this walk with me, take this trip with me and get ready to indulge. This is how the night went. Pulled out my trusty Dutch oven and a good frying pan. Heated them both. Found myself a baking tray. Initially, I didn't have that much naan. Oh, this smells so crazy. To the best of my ability, I'm gonna cut it in the shape of chips. Indian food is better reheated in my opinion. All those seasonings just soak in, just settle a little more. Such a beautiful process right here. Start to layer these. As you see, I'm grating some sharp cheddar right now. We're gonna grate the cheese just so it could melt easier. Do I think aliens made the pyramids? Nah, I don't like when people say that. I think that's disrespectful to my Egyptian brothers and sisters to say, oh, you could have never made that, an alien made it. The aliens might have been so intrigued by them, they wanted to hang out and explore them, charge them, give them a certain energy, but these were made by the hands of Egypt. For whatever reason, this feels dangerous. If it doesn't feel dangerous in the kitchen, I don't really want any parts of it. There's layers to this, it's, it's a science to this. It might look like chaos, but it's a very scientific process. This is already something special. You've already never seen this in your life. Right now, somebody watching is thinking, what the hell is he doing? Somebody else is thinking he's a goddamn genius. I think like the latter. We're gonna put this in the oven. And now we're gonna heat up the toppings. Right here we have butter chicken. We're gonna dump right in the saucepan. Look at that. Chana masala is one of my favorite things in the world, by the way. There's so many things in it. Yo, I thought it was simple. When I saw how much it takes to make it, I respected it even more. To mix and match the right amount to all those things, like, yo, you're a chemist. Now we wait. Cheese is melting. Chips are getting crispy. Um, you know? Butter chicken is heating up. Let's check on these. We're getting somewhere. Damn, I thought I paid the electric bill. <laughs> Microwaves. I'd rather always heat things on the stove top if I have the option. It's a little more hands-on. It's a little more intimate, you know? It's like, now nah, this isn't a TV dinner. I have to sweat over the stove top to make these nachos. So usually when you have traditional nachos, straight from Mexico, you throw some jalapenos in there with this. I use these little green chilies. I'm gonna just throw a few of those in there. Let's take a gander. Oh, look at this. I believe they're Thai chilies, but you get them at Indian restaurants, so it's going on amazing. It's one last thing we have left over from the Indian food, a little sag paneer. I'm gonna just scoop out the good Indian cheese that appears in spinach for whatever reason. Actually, I think, wow. You see, we got that good brown crunch on top. That's what I love. Any, any, any real nacho head knows what time it is and they'll appreciate that. And um, now we're gonna take it to another level. Generously spread that chana across the top. On top of that, we put the butter chicken right there. Let's be honest, this is a thing of beauty right here. You've never seen anything like this in your life. Sag paneer, we're gonna just drop in sporadically before we put this back in for around another minute or two. Can we get a good shot of this? Yo, Buck, could you help me out for a second? I got my friend in the building, legendary producer, legendary human being, Buck Wild. If this was a beat, right? What type of beat would this be? This would be Pete Rock's They Reminisce, reminisce Over You, Troy. Now I got another question. What's that? If this was a Buck Wild beat, if you could pick one song you've done out of the thousands, what song is this? What song is this? Time is up. Oh! Damn. Because it, it, it's, it's not going to be there that long. 
<laughs> Word up. <laughs> Time's up, Indian nachos. I'm going to put and this that's back how in. I said for, for Pete, they reminisce over you. Because it'll be gone. It's gone. It's like you'll just be reminiscing about the time when you had it. Yo, I feel you. <laughs> you see, that's how it goes down over here. Sometimes, sometimes you don't just find Indian food in the fridge. Sometimes you just got a legend chilling on your couch, you know? Yo, this might be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever made. I want to see this on the menu. If I go to an Indian restaurant and I see Indian nachos, like I don't even need credit. I don't even, I actually don't even want it to say Mayhem Lorraine Indian nachos. If I see Indian nachos on a menu, I'm just gonna feel a whole different sense of accomplishment. I keep peeking. It's like the night before Christmas, you keep sneaking out. See if Santa Claus ate the cookies, left you a little Ninja Turtle or something. You, you know, for many, many years of my life, I would watch the sunrise every morning, look at everybody go to work. I go get a bagel and then go to sleep. Nine to five was my sleep schedule, I swear. All right, I think it's ready. Wow. Oh, this is like a newborn right here. This is like 9.3 pounds. It's a newborn with a big head. As if this wasn't enough. When you order Indian food, there's certain sauces that come with it. We got that good tamarind sauce. We got those magical red onions and we have that amazing mint. Give it a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Indian nachos. Yo. This is crazy. Butter chicken and chana, they go well together, but to cut that with a pepper jack and then the crunch of a blue corn tortilla and the different, come on, the mint sauce, the red onions, the tamarind with a little sweet notes. It's like Whitney singing to you, little sweet notes. Indian nachos, Mexican inspiration, Indian flavor. That's how the commercial will go. Nah, leave, leave that. That, 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 that. Yeah, yeah, come on. We, I could have cleaned the chips up, but I want you to enjoy the ambiance of the chaotic atmosphere. So we're gonna leave chips all over so you can really understand the chaos and how it's going down in this kitchen.